History's headlines, we recall the railroad that got way off track. The South Penn Railroad was supposed to run to and from western Pennsylvania by way of Harrisburg, but it got derailed. The year was 1883, and Robert Sayer needed a job. The longtime Lehigh Valley Railroad executive had been unceremoniously dismissed from his post by the sons of company founder Asa Packer. Robert and Harry Packer were uh, difficult to say the least. They did not take kindly to discipline. When Asa Packer was alive, he entrusted Sayer with the seemingly impossible task of keeping his sons out of trouble. After Packer died, Sayer knew the writing was on the wall. He wrote in his diary, the boys have come after me and have bought the hatchet. But Sayer's skills were in demand. It wasn't long before New York Central Railroad magnate William Vanderbilt brought him on board to make the so-called South Penn Railroad a reality. It was to run from Harrisburg to Pittsburgh, and it was basically to challenge the uh, role of the uh, Pennsylvania Railroad. Sayer got to work, and a crew of thousands began carving out the route in the Pennsylvania countryside. Nine tunnels were cleared in record time. By September of 1885, they had 60% of the railroad done. But the biggest financier of his day was about to put the brakes on the whole thing. J.P. Morgan convinced Vanderbilt to pull out of the project in order to keep the peace among the railroads and their investors. Suddenly, the South Penn Railroad was no more. Robert Sayre is once more out of a job. But he may have had the last laugh. By that time, both Robert and Harry Packer were dead. So Sayer returned to the Lehigh Valley Railroad. And the tunnels that would never see an engine or a caboose would come in handy later, in the 1930s and 40s, when the Pennsylvania Turnpike was plotting a route of its own. The work that Robert Sayer did did not go in vain in some ways. All right, remember there's always more to the story at WFMZ.com. You'll find history's headlines in the features section.